Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's doing great out there. So today we're going to do a review on the Dry Guy Travel Dry DX um, shoe and boot dryer. And so the first part, uh, first two parts of the video you're going to see, I actually filmed back when I got the product in late uh, 2020 and I was just getting my YouTube channel off the ground. So you'll see the unboxing of these and a little bit of a little chat about that. And then I purposely went out and got a pair of shoes uh, totally soaked through and used the boot dryers to dry them out and uh, see how it ended up working out. And then what we're going to do is now that it's well over a year later, we're going to kind of film a wrap up uh, to the um, original two little parts there to kind of see how these have held up over the past uh, it's probably been about maybe 14 or 15 months that I've had these and used these and taken them with me out on the road so uh, we will wrap up the video um, in uh, present day uh, having a look back at how these have done and uh, hope you enjoy so welcome back everyone uh, today we're going to be taking a look at uh, some boot dryers or shoe dryers. So um, for me, uh, back about 20 years ago, I went to work in a ski resort and um, in my teenage years I had lived in the deep south and I had kind of um, gotten out of, you know, the, the habit of like living in a cold climate and all that. So. When I went out there to work, I was very uh, unprepared and kind of naive in a way, um, you know, and also didn't have a lot of money either at the time. So whenever I started out there, the first two ski seasons, I was uh, um, wearing cotton pants, didn't even have long johns, a lot of shoes that weren't really appropriate for the conditions on those snowy days, maybe some heavier socks. But that first ski season or two, I probably spent a lot of those snowy days um, basically soaking wet from the waist down and soaking wet shoes and then the shoes would never really dry out and then a lot of days i'd end up having to start my day uh, with wet cold shoes uh, which isn't a lot of fun so anyways uh, it's, at some point i kind of figured it out and uh, found myself some boot dryers and uh, once I started using those, uh, basically I couldn't do without them. And, uh, you know, e even on days where I didn't get my shoes wet and all that, I, I was still, you know, plugging them in because, especially on those cold days um, or wet mornings, you know, you obviously you want to start the day out with nice warm shoes that are nice and dry. So, <clears throat> as I've kind of gone through the years, I used that same pair of boot dryers for almost 20 years. And after all the years that I worked in the ski resorts, moved on to other work, um, still working a lot outside uh, where we still, you know, uh, still have rainy days that are just, you know, heavy rain. So everything gets soaked through um, or muddy days where I basically have to take my shoes off and and hose them out, all that sort of thing. Um, so, um, you know, a lot of the work environments that I'm in, you know, I end up with wet shoes or whatever. So I have to have something I can take with me. I can throw it in the bag and kind of make it work. So when my uh, t nearly 20 year old boot dryers went on to Fritz recently, I started shopping around and, you know, there's a lot of different, you know, boot dryers out there you can buy and all that. But uh, I saw these and they look pretty good from this company called the dry guy. Stay dry, stay active. And one thing I liked about them is it looked like they had these little fans that kind of circulate the air a little bit better, maybe in the shoe. And so um, I thought, well, maybe I'm going to give these a go and see how they work um, compared to what I've used previously, which was kind of a little bit smaller and just had some holes in it. And they worked well enough, you know, but uh, pretty much, you know, you'd have to kind of leave it, leave it all plugged in for about 12 hours to get the full effect. Um, also, with the ones I used to have, the nice thing too is they're portable, so I could take them in the car as well. So whenever I was shopping around for new boot dryers, that was also um, another thing that was important to me was that um, I have that that capability to, um, you know, be able to take them with me and, and plug it into the car's power adapter. Because uh, 
one thing that I always do with the work I do is I always have backup pair of shoes. So if I do get a, a wet pair of shoes or, you know, I have to travel home or whatever, um, I'll go ahead and, you know, plug these in um, to the, uh, I'll plug my boot dryer into the, the AC outlet in the car and, um, you know, go ahead and start getting those dry while I'm driving home or whatever. So anyways, uh, with these, these uh, Travel Dry DX boot dryers, you have that capability also to be able to use them in the car. And uh, so, yeah, I thought I'd give them a go. So let me go ahead and get these open up and we'll take a look at them. All right, so we got these open and pretty much kind of self-explanatory. You know, we've got our two boot dryers sticking the shoe. And then also, too, um, we have that uh, adapter capability um, that we can plug it into the cigarette outlet in the car if we need to do that and then you also have your your uh, wall socket as well with instructions so um, the thing with this is that today what I did was uh, I wanted to test these out so I purposely put on uh, shoes that don't really do as well in wet cold climates um, that um, don't really have a toe cap to kind of keep the um, the moisture and the wet out so um, <clears throat> went ahead and went snowshoeing today got these shoes all nice and wet so we'll take a look right here so we got the shoe pretty well soaked through it's uh it's not like um squeaking uh you know wet where there's uh you know water just oozing out um and that was kind of the intention was to get them wet enough you know where it'd be kind of realistic in terms of a day out kind of in the woods you get your shoes soaked all the way through. I can tell you my socks are soaked all the way through, um, but they're not like filled with water or anything like that. So they're nice and damp um, pretty much all the way through. And uh, so I think this would be a good test uh, to basically put these in. We'll plug them in overnight and we'll see how it kind of works out and uh, how they do. All right, so these have been working now for over 12 hours. So let's have a look little fans in there are blowing so that's good and the shoe is totally dry totally dry inside and out so slightly warm I wouldn't mind it being a little bit warmer but um, they were fairly damp so you know that's that's pretty decent so yeah happy with those overall they did a pretty good job um, so yeah we'll keep using them and if I run into any durability issues or anything like that we'll definitely report it all right y'all have a good one all right folks to wrap this up so now it's well over a year later from those uh, f those first two little videos there um, and uh, here we are how have they held up in terms of durability and reliability and uh, the answer is they've done surprisingly well um, with a lot of this stuff I find out there these days with a lot of electronics and different things you know a lot of the uh, the point of failure a lot of times seems to be these cords and stuff like that um, but uh, absolutely no issues with these it looked like they put at least a little bit of effort into you know making sure they're somewhat durable and they're gonna last for a bit uh, and um, you know, so absolutely no issues, um, very reliable, um, very durable, very light, easy to take with me. I throw them in my suitcase. Uh, I use them in the summer uh, whenever I get real sweaty shoes or boots. Uh, and then the rest of the year, if I get rain uh, soaking them, if I get snow soaking them, anything like that, um, you know, I have these ready to go right in my bag. Um, I whip them out, plug them in, uh, usually after dinner sometime, you know, six, seven, eight o'clock at night, uh, leave them overnight. And next morning, um, before I go to work, seven, seven thirty, they're pretty much ready to go. Uh, and they, they, uh, they dry out the shoes and boots pretty well. So they circulate, um, near hundred degree, um, air through there. And also too, these little fans seem to do a real good job of kind of bringing the air all the way down into the toe box, which is nice as well. Uh, so they do an excellent job circulating air around and drying everything out. Um, so yeah, 
It's uh, for me, it's an essential piece of kit. Um, I take them with me anytime that I travel. And uh, yeah, anytime that I do have those issues with wet shoes or boots, um, you know, I go ahead and put these, plug these in at night. And uh, next morning, I got nice dry shoes. So I have to say, a really good product, very happy with it. Um, I wanted to recommend it because, um, you know, for over the past year, they've served me well. And, um, you know, it's an essential piece of kit for me because uh, uh, once you uh, experience having nice, uh, warm and dry shoes and boots in the morning compared to the way you took them off the night before, uh, it's kind of hard to go back. So um, the other thing with these two is they do have where you can disconnect this and plug it into a cigarette lighter and use it in a vehicle. So far, I've not had the need to do that, but um, you know, that option's there if you do need it. I would say the one thing, you know, with this to keep in mind, probably with any boot dryer, is you need to give them time to work. So just plugging them in for an hour or two, you know, it might do something, but especially if you have really wet shoes or boots, um, you know, I find kind of just doing the overnight thing of plugging them in the night before and, um, you know, in the morning they're ready to go. So uh, they work real well, very happy with them, highly recommend them. Uh, you can check out the link below to pick them up on Amazon. Uh, if you do use that link, basically it just kicks back a little commission to the channel and keeps us rolling with, with uh, reviews and, um, you know, trying out new products and, uh, you know, new uh, different gear out there. So, um, you know, thanks for supporting the channel. And uh, any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them below. And uh, stay tuned. We got some other interesting stuff coming up. So we'll see you all then.